how we've been saying we're gonna be covering more PC stuff? Well, here's a shiny new 1070 Ti and today let's take a close look at it. Hey guys, Ash here from C4E Tech and stay glued to your screens for some buttery smooth gameplay action. So before we start, we are bringing back PC Bulls and this is just the start of PC stuff being featured on the channel. We worked really hard to keep bringing you guys fresh content. So if you do end up liking what you see, do drop us a like. And if you haven't yet, click that red subscribe button and that bell icon, click that so that you don't miss out on any of the exciting new stuff that we have in store for you. So guys, here's the box pack. Picking inside, we have the 1070 Ti itself and a little bit of reading material. Now, let me show you guys a closer look. The shroud is similar to the 1080, reminds me of the back wheel of all things. <laughs> Turning it around, we have quite the number of ports. Three display ports, a single HDMI 2.0 port, as well as a dual link DVI port. Looks like Nvidia still supports the older tech, kudos to the green team. Now, while I love the three display ports, I can't help but wish that they had one more HDMI port so that I could connect my Oculus as well as my monitors to the PC at the same time. Although this is just a minor gripe uh, and nothing that can't be solved with a display port to HDMI adapter. Anyway, let's quickly run through the specs. The 1070 Ti has 2432 CUDA cores. That's a significant bump up in computing power compared to the 1070, which only had 1920 CUDA cores. With this spec bump, the 1070 Ti is more like a handicapped 1080 than a bumped up 1070, you know, in terms of raw performance. With the only thing that's really holding it back is the older generation GDDR5 memory and lower boost clock speeds. So now, enough talk about specs, let's get this beast into its element. Now, I've been using the NVIDIA Titan X, but that was just for productivity. So let's take that one out and pop this in. Now it's time for what you all have been waiting for, the gaming benchmarks. On a quick side note, the 1070 Ti can play most AAA titles at 60 FPS at 1440p, but we prefer our 1080 monitors, so we will be doing all the testing at that resolution. Can it run Crisis? Yes, it can. In fact, with everything set to ultra high, the 1070 Ti can pull off some impressive numbers, averaging around 82 FPS, and the lowest also being a very playable 59 FPS. Here's a little more gameplay footage. Now, of course, esports titles are way less demanding and our CSGO benchmarks show that off with our rig averaging out at 230 FPS. So anyone of you looking to take up professional CS or even Dota or Overwatch for that matter, the 1070 Ti should keep up consistent frame rates even with something like a high refresh rate uh, 144Hz panel. And now let's check out a few more games. Everything remained playable at 1080p with exceptional amounts of graphical fidelity. Well, let's now get down to the bare bones, should you get this card. If you have the money and want to play the latest game to the highest settings at 1080p and even 1440p, then hell yes. Personally, I find this card a lot more appealing than the 1080, especially with GPU prices being what they are right now. However, if you want a 4K gaming setup, then the 1070 Ti might not be the ideal card. But as anything about 1440p, this puppy would struggle to pull in consistent 60 FPS on high and very high graphic presets. But that's just my thoughts on this device. What do you guys think? 
is 39,000 rupees something you'd be willing to spend on a graphics card? And at that price point, would you want to go for Team Green or Team Red? Tell us in the comments below. We'd love to know what GPUs power your systems. So I guess that's it for this video. How did I do for my first time with the GPU? Well, on cam. Let me know again, comments, if you have any feedback, if you have any tips, if you feel we've kind of not focused on something, let us know. Uh, if there's any particular games that you'd like for us to test for future videos, again, let us know in the comments. And that's it. You know, if you do like it, if you hated it, and hit that subscribe button, bell icon and all that. Till next time, this year's Ash, and I'm signing off. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.